Yeah. That's what's happening. Growing a mustache. Having a baby, growing a mustache. In that order. No, no. Really. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm fully handlebar it. I'm gonna just grow it. I'm just gonna grow it. Like I grew it just before Wilfred started shooting again, and I'm like hated to shave it off because I thought it really worked for me. I'm like as soon as Wilfred stops shooting, I'm like growing a mustache, and I'm like gonna handlebar it, and uh, yeah, just see how long I can, how big I can make it. I'm a facial hair person, so I'm, I'm, I'm with you, man. I'm right there. So, you know, I should continue to delve into this character in the series. Is there anything that you've been surprised to learn about yourself? Um, I'm starting to, yeah, I was surprised this year that I uh, actually enjoyed it as much. And, like, I mean, it's with the Australian show, I'd go, I'd go crazy. We shoot eight episodes a season, and I'd go crazy after, like, two months. So when we had to do, like, 13 episodes, I was like, how am I going to do this? And the, and the first season, that first, that last month was hell, you know, getting out of that suit, I just really wasn't happy. But this year, you know, I've really, you know, started to, I think it's been good for my whole, like, personality, getting in and out of the suit. I mean, the suit isn't uncomfortable to wear, but if you had to, like, get changed in and out of your clothes four or five hundred times a day, it starts to get irritating, you know, like, so, um, in and out of the suit, but I'm, I'm just sort of having a lot of fun and people are noticing that I'm becoming like more relaxed as a person and stuff so I think this, I think Wilfred has been good for me that way that's a story in itself you're, you're learning from Wilfred and it's all to do with apparel nothing <laughs> nothing <laughs> internal it's no, there's nothing about the actual you character Wilfred it's just the suit that's you should start though. therapy based on <laughs> now that might get weird yeah, no, that like might that. get into that furry territory I don't know that's therapy. A... <laughs> yeah Maybe, you know, you get a, a, a mentally wounded person in an animal suit and then, like, get them to find their inner animal and talk to you about their problems. Maybe there's something in it. Well, recently, someone was saying, you know, like... I think might work. Well, I was thinking of opening up an agency of, like, brash Australian males, men, that, like, come and become your, like, your, like, personal trainer, like, life coach. Turn, basically, hang around you in an animal suit. <laughs> Turn your life upside down. Because people are always writing to me and saying, you know, I want a Wilfred, I want a Wilfred. I'm like, dude, really? Do you really think about that? And they're like, no, I want one. So maybe I should like create an agency and like sell, like rent out Wilfreds. Did they see the scene in episode? Did they? Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah, they still want it. That's in fact, that was when the request spiked after that episode. Yeah. <laughs> I want I've got nothing. I, want, I don't that. know that. Yeah. I want what he's having. <laughs> now you could charge a lot then for those yeah, Australian yeah, yeah. life coaches. Okay. <laughs> How much of the character do you bring home with you, like off the set? Like, how what is the comparison? Like, um, look, when I first did the short film years ago, all my friends watched it and they went, "That's just you in a dog suit," you know. And and there is a there is a lot bit of me there, but over the years he's really developed into his own character and, and people like that David who was just here and, and the other guys they're like it's weird for them because I'm in the writers room for three months they I mean we have the luxury of whenever we're pitching something funny I can get up and do it show them and to know if it really works but when they act when it goes into shooting and I go get in the suit and I actually start doing it they're like wow like you're good and like we, we forget that you we know you but when you're real good it's, it's a completely different thing and um so look, I, I'm getting better at switching on from work. I forget that I'm in work. I really do. Like now, like after this, like uh, Comic Con, I'll watch an episode on Thursday night, and and, and, I, and I sometimes forget they're even on. And other than that, I don't even know that I'm, I'm I play I'm Wilfred anymore. Like so, occasionally I'll like go somewhere and someone will recognise me, and I'll be like, oh, that's right, I'm on TV. But uh, but I mean that's that's um that's been as much a conscious decision as um, as I've been lucky that Wilfred disguises a lot of what I look like, so I don't get recognised as much. But also, you know, I want to have a I want to have a, like a normal life and like and. Um, and, 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 and have family and things like that and I, I, I'm trying to work out a, a, the, the right balance. How is, uh, you know, this incarnation of, of Wilfred, do you think that uh, the supporting characters that you have in this show and the relationship that is being bonded between Ryan and being pulled away from Ryan, how has that 
created Wilfred into something new and, and, and energetic for you to continue doing it for multiple seasons. Well, Elijah's, Elijah's Ryan informs so much about what I do. And, you know, I feel so um, so lucky to be blessed to work with, with Elijah. And he gives me such a um, confidence. There's no ego, actors' egos there. There's no, like, some people, especially in comedies, are threatened by the, the funniest person, you know. But he, if he sees me doing something that's like working, I mean, I'm just throwing yeah. shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. And if he's and he'll like latch onto something. And sometimes I'll be surprised by how subtly, like complex, what I'm doing is. There was a there's a, an episode this year where um they're it's like a Scooby Doo episode. They're chasing this new boyfriend of of uh, I think it was episode three. This new boyfriend oh, of. Yeah, um, yeah. Of, 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 of Kristen and this character started coming out in me where you know he was talking about like he's going well I think we have all the information we need you know he's really he's almost like this uh, Australian politician the way he was speaking and I just started talking like this and he's like what is that you're doing what is that voice and I'm like oh well, I don't know it's kind of like you know, some sort of Australian politician he's going whatever you're doing keep it going and, and then before we knew it everyone was like everyone on set for weeks were kind of saying well I think we have all the information we need <laughs> and so working with Elijah allows me to really take a bunch of risks that I otherwise might feel more intimidated to do and you know it's, it's, it's great sorry I got a yank oh. but I'm Thanks giving so you Fiona yeah, yeah.